Well, it's something lifeguards never want to experience, drownings in the Gulf of Mexico. And this year, Panama City Beach made national headlines as one of the highest in the nation when it comes to beach deaths. And with summer ending soon, how many rescues did PCV lifeguards actually make? New Channel 7's Victoria Scott spoke to the beach safety director today. She joins us with more in the studio. Victoria? Guys, at Panama City Beach unfortunately received attention for the wrong reasons this summer. City officials report nine confirmed drownings took place in PCB. Lifeguards say they made a tremendous effort this season, so much so the stats speak for themselves. Lifeguards made a little over a million public contacts. That's where the lifeguard had made contact with one individual and advised them about like beach flags, rip currents, uh, where the sandbar is. One of the hottest beach destinations in the South encountered plenty of foot traffic in 2023. They say Christmas came early, but I'm, I think spring break came early this year. Panama City Beach Safety Director Daryl Paul reports 233 water rescues have been recorded this year. And there's more to the story. 2,500 uh, public assists and over 170,000 preventative actions. A public assist is where a lifeguard took some kind of action, some kind of proactive action to enter the water to prevent a rescue. But beach rescue lifeguards weren't the only ones touting beach safety. Promoting beach safety is a countywide effort. Bay County commissioners put forth a number of ordinances and initiatives, and officials say Claire Pease helped lead that charge. Commissioner Pease was appointed uh, earlier in the year, and she really came in uh, and made a, a huge effort at beach safety. Another example includes building double red flag beach safety signs. Particularly later in the summer when we uh, started to have some problems, uh, you know, with, and challenges with tourists running into issues there. Uh, she led the charge in, in building 500 signs that were placed at the edge of the water. Officials also say code enforcement officers spoke to the public about beach ordinances. Our code enforcement officers were, were stopping and talking and, and also writing those citations when that, um, that was necessary. It's a shared goal to keep everyone safe. Out of the nine drownings this year, only one happened on a guarded beach, guys. Wow, all right. Thanks, Victoria. The beach safety director says he hopes to have 25 seasonal lifeguards and eight full-time lifeguards for next year's season. There were 15 seasonal lifeguards and seven full-time this year.